My next guest, of course, is a founding member of Monty Python. Now he has this new book, Himalaya, and a TV series, Himalaya with Michael Palin. Please welcome Michael Palin. Thank you very Thanks much for being indeed. here. That song just sort of oh, died at so the nice. end. What happened? Yeah. Did anyone hear that? It just sort of went, yeah. wow. Is that fell me? off the mountain. No, I don't know. a statement about me. I'll come in again. <laughs> they just, uh, I don't know what okay. happened there, but I apologize. And they'll pay for it. They will pay. No, that, now, no, uh, this is fascinating because I've never, I've been to Paris. That's about it. Uh, Paris, but, France? Yes. Yeah. yes. Is that, is that am I correct, by the way? You've traveled all over the world and you've written about it. Do you know about the Statue of Liberty thing where they gave us the big one and then we gave them this crappy little one? I didn't know you gave them the crappy little one. No, yeah, yeah. No one knows. It's like an yeah, it's, yeah, it's no one. Uh, it's uh, oh, good. You See? always learn something when you travel. That's the great thing, you know. Yes, that, and that's a big Ben in London. Probably isn't the real Big Ben. It's probably in some Kazakhstan, and they right, gave us something right, exactly. back. Yeah, well, what's the thing? I don't check it. <laughs> I, don't, I think the I real don't Big Ben. Check Ben's... it when I go back because it's, it's a bit well, hot, maybe hollow. People, are, <laughs> people find out so much when they travel, and you. For years, you've been doing these specials where you travel around the world and you go to places nobody goes to. And you went now you've gone to the Himalayas, which uh, I, I can imagine going there. All I know about the Himalayas is these amazing guides, Sherpas, are they called, that take you through the mountain passes. You're, Did you have you one have, of those? You have to have someone to show you the way because it's right. quite, quite so sort of tricky up there. And you have these Sherpas, and they're all great characters, and they know the mountains so well. And we had a guy called Wong Chu. And what, he what's was, that, Wong Chu? Wong I thought you Chu. sneezed. Okay, Wong no, Chu. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, he was actually Wong Chu. But he was very, he was great, and he was, uh, he talked very fast, you know. Now, eat this, eat, drink that, climb mountain, now go. And uh, he was, <laughs> Go where? Yeah, well, now go up mountain. Oh, okay, now go up mountain, okay. Not okay. a great thing for a guide to do, he should be in the front, really. Now go up there, see right. you later. That's and a great really guide, yeah. He, he actually had been to the top of Everest twice, and the second time he'd gone to the top of Everest with a party and says, get to the top of Everest, look down, no one there, party miles behind. Up, up at Everest, I said, I said, what do you do? He said, have sleep. I said, what? So he said, have sleep. And so this man has actually slept on the top of Everest. And that, I think, is a definition of cool. Yeah, I mean... Somebody gets to top of Everest, the highest mountain in the, the world. Most people would panic. Right, most people also... have your photo taken. Right, uh, right. But, but he just goes to sleep. I mean, I, I mean I, I'm... Well, that, I would think if I got to the top, if I got to the top and there was a guy there snoozing, I would think that that is the coolest man yeah, in the world. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now, he lash himself to the top. One of the things a lot of us fear when we travel, it, the food situation. You know, a lot of people they have their foods that they like. Yeah, yeah. You have to be kind of fearless when you're traveling in a place like this. What's the food like? Uh, mostly yak. Yak. Yeah, a lot of yak because. Yak is like the sort of staple diet up there. It's about the only animal that can kind of live in the Himalaya. Right. And so they get everything from the yak. They build their tents out of yak. They, they use yak fur. They get yak milk. So the main drink is yak butter tea, which is it's kind of tea... Yeah, I can hear them already. Yeah. It's already putting it off. It has a kind of salty texture because there are no sugars. They put salt in it, and then you, to, to sort of... Um, to mix that, you use a bit of yak butter. So you stir it all in. It is the most revolting drink I've ever so had. So it's horrible. See, it, that's it interesting, because I thought you were going to come to the end and say, but it's really good, but you said no, it, it's terrible. No, it's I mean, I've, I've had some things in my time. I've drunk, you know, palm wine with saliva from old ladies in it, and that is great. That I love that. <laughs> that was improved. But this... Is that true? Yeah. Old ladies yeah, would yeah. spit into it? Why? What does yeah. that do for the palm wine? Or are they just mad at you? I mean, I don't, I don't know. Well, I think it just makes it taste good. Yeah. You know, and you wouldn't think that normally, would you? And if someone said to me, you want palm wine with or without saliva? I'd say, without, OK? <laughs> just give me diet palm wine. Without yeah. That. But yeah, anyway, with lemon, yeah. I didn't know it was going to be... Uh, I didn't know that was what it was made of when they told right. me about it. Wow. Anyway, but this stuff is really... It's a very, very difficult uh, taste. And actually, it makes you feel very ill. And someone then said the key thing is forget that it's tea and look on it as soup. And that's fine. So if you think of it as tea, like, you know, the English like to drink their tea, right. yak, butter and salt tea, it's quite revolting. But if you think of it as soup, <coughs> it's a nice salty soup fortified with yak. I don't buy any of that. Yeah, <laughs> you don't. I, mean, I can tell. I look yeah, in your eyes, yeah. you're beginning to think, when does the show end? Yeah, yeah. That's go I know Will it's... you shut up about yaks? <laughs> yeah, but... that's, that's old lady saliva. But think of it as cotton yeah. candy. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now I'm happy. <laughs> but I did learn how to... I learned how to milk a yak, which is a... Something that may come in use for one day. It's like being able to sing a lumberjack song in, right, in German. Right, you know, right, just, right. Uh, one of those So you things. did, and is it hard? Is it difficult to, to milk well, a Well, they they're very, very hairy beasts. They're very shaggy underneath. So it's quite difficult to locate the others. Right. Uh, it took me a while. Um, you don't I, want to get I, that I said, wrong. I carry on with the rest of the programme. I just yeah. finally got them. And, and um, I'd never milked anything 
written before, apart from an audience. But anyway, I was working away on these uh, things, and after about four minutes, I had just about enough for a, for a cappuccino. <laughs> um, <laughs> a little tiny. Eye, a macchiato. Yeah, yeah. And the guy said, no, 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 this is not how you do it. You've got to be strong. Be strong with them. Strong with those others. Right. And he had a swimming pool in no time. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> so when I next see a yak, I'll, I'll, I'll really know what to do. But it's not, you don't get asked often to do that. I wouldn't so think so, no. Put it on my CV, you never know. Did you, uh, did you mm -hmm. meet, I, I, I'm told you met, the Dalai Lama. I find that hard to yeah. believe because Dalai Lama is such a holy figure, hard to meet with, but you, you got to no, talk to him. He's quite accessible. But you, we, um, he, he granted us a 40-minute interview. I mean, he is a very busy man. He'd just come back from America, actually, when we were talking to crowds there. He had a, a sort of audience with 700 people, and then he, then he gave us this little chat, and he, he is absolutely marvelous because he came straight in, and I, for a week, I'd been panicking about, what do I ask him? Oh, God, what do I say? You know, what's the first question? Uh, you asked the holiest man in the Buddhist world, and he just said to me, I saw you on television. I know you from television. I don't know what it was. Maybe he'd seen me right. sing Lumberjack song or something like that. But he was very, you know, straight away, there's a kind of, sort of mischievous smile. And he'll, I mean, he talked a bit about politics, but basically he'll, he'll, he likes to just talk about whatever you, you want to talk about. He likes to put you at your ease. And we ended up talking about jet lag and how we both suffer. So when you come back from the States, you have a problem. He said, oh, yeah, head, no problem, but uh, bowels, big problem. Normally, I go toilet morning. Now I have to go toilet. And I said, no, please, please, that's quite enough. <laughs> you know, That's your Lama, conversation you know, with you the Dalai get, Lama? Exactly. You wouldn't get the Archbishop of Canterbury telling you about his, uh, his digestive system. Well, maybe you would, actually. <laughs> Probably bring more people into church. Yeah, be yeah. more frank and open. It, yes, if people were more honest about those uh, things. Yeah. It. Okay, people... guys. This morning, I well, well yeah. yeah, I don't want to hear about that. Fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. So maybe if the so Pope, the Buddhist, if the Pope the Buddhist, talked about things like minutes, that, yeah. Everything. Oh, oh yeah. my God. All right. <laughs> well, you broke the show. It's all your fault. <laughs> uh, these are really amazing programs. Uh, Himalaya with Michael Palin begins June twentieth at nine p.m. on the Travel Channel, Travel Channel and uh, it's there. It's a six. So, mm. six, six installments. Six, six installments. We go right across the Himalaya, and it's some and the amazing book, adventures. The book, which is gorgeous, Himalaya, is uh, in stores now, and uh, always a thrill for me to have you on the, oh, on the show. Nice so thank you so much Great. for being here. Good to have you, Michael Palin. Everybody, stay right there. We'll be right back with Better Than Ezra. We'll see you in a moment. Folks, that's it. I want to thank all my guests. Thank you, sir, for being here. Always a pleasure. Uh, stay tuned for the last call at Carson. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.